So this is video four about growing cones using the context of a road cone. The video is at twice the speed, but it's straightforward enough, so I'm sure you'll be able to keep up. I start by drawing one vertical pencil line. Then I'm going to use the small ellipse template just to draw the top of the road cone and then half an ellipse at the bottom for the base of the cone. I then draw a horizontal line and line up the two dots on the outer part of the micro dot. This is going to start to form the base of the road cone. Slide the stencil down and add another three points to continue with the base of the road cone. Now because the road cone base has got curved corners, we're just going to line up the dots and put in two ellipse curves on the front of the cone. All I've done now is put the dots back where they were and I'm starting to use the ellipse template just to round off the bottom outer corners of the road cone, as you can see there. Flip the stencil, line up the dots, and you can see, slide it down, and this is just the bottom part of the curve. And because this is an outside line, I'm using my thicker pen to highlight the outside of the cone. Do that on both sides. Notice that I hold the pen halfway down so that I can see the tip of the pen. And then continue to use a darker, thicker pen for the outside edge of the cone. Once you've done this a few times, you'll be able to have a go at drawing some of your own cone-shaped forms. And the short lines you could probably have a go at doing freehand. For the last part, I'm going to go to the thin pen, and this is just going to put the two edges of the base of the road cone, just like so. And you could leave that as it is, but I'm just going to add a little bit of marker work in a minute just to bring it out. And I'm using the little isometric tool now just to add two contour lines. And this helps the eye follow the line of the contour of the shape and just makes it look that little bit more 3D, a bit more professional. There we go. Done and finished. And now just for a little bit of ink.